Jeremy as Cook here, and today I'm going to be talking about something that really sucks. Actually, I, I didn't make anything that sucks, but I, I bought this thing, this Dyson DP10 Total Clean Plus Vacuum that I've been extremely happy with. But one thing that did make me nervous is the holder for it, even though it charges it and holds it pretty well, it gives a place to put it, the boom will just, it just flops all over the place when you push on it. So I was thinking this may cause some problems later, and I made a mount for that, that not only holds it holds it tight, holds it right in place, but also has a, a holder for some of the accessories. The first step, and what I thought was going to be the only step to begin with, was to design the holder itself. It's got a, a hole in the middle to save filament, but this actually came in handy later when I designed the, the accessory holder as well. You can see it printing out there, and then I put some holes in the wall. It, it's meant to use some drywall anchors, and yeah, you know, I'm just putting the anchors in. It's pretty much pretty much like everybody else. Hopefully I put my own spin on it, but yeah, it's exactly the same as everybody else. So put that in there and held it nice and tight and put it on and yeah, it looks good. And if you're wondering about that first person view shot, I'll have a little bit on that later how I did that. And of course, when you're working with a vacuum cleaner, it gives you a really easy way to clean up. But from there, I made the accessory holder, which straps on to the middle part with zip ties. This, uh, this worked out pretty well, especially having that middle hole that I could just loop everything around. There's a print. Actually, I had to make two copies of this, this because the first one did not print quite correctly. It was a little bit too big. But this one fit right on there. There's a little mini back. Looks pretty good. Feed the, feed the zip ties up and through. Made sure to put those symmetrical towards the inside. A little, uh, maybe a little OCD there, but wanted to make sure they looked pretty good. Flip those off and it looks nice. One thing that's notable here is you can still still push it forwards and backwards just a little bit if you need to. And that looks like a pretty good place for it right there. You could find the prints and everything for this on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. But the way it's printed, it probably could be a little bit thicker, but it, it's held up pretty well so far. I guess as long as you don't push down on it too hard, it should be should be fine. So during the process of making this video, I, I thought I needed some first person view shots of the vacuum itself. And this is the ring that I made to hold everything on there. It's just got a hole for a quarter 20 screw, as well as one on the bottom for a 1024 that locks it down. You can see there, I have got a little bit too hot, so I have all kinds of stringy things that I had to clean off with sandpaper. Didn't have to be perfect in this case, so, you know, it's very much a functional print. But it goes on there nicely, looks good. Just gotta put it forward just a little bit so it doesn't doesn't block the, the vents. There's a screw that goes through and then you, you twist that on there so you can put your GoPro cam or anything else on it really. I could have used the sticker for the, the quick disconnects, but not quite as much fun. There's a 1024 that locks everything down, so you just put it on there and then tighten it on and it holds it pretty well. Really happy how this turned out. So you can see there, it's cleaning up the mat in my shop. Somebody somebody on Twitter, uh, actually RC2014, suggested that you know, this would be a great weapon for like a, like Doom or something. So if you're a programmer and feel like you wanna, you know, wanna make that change, then, you know, I'd love to see that happen. Um, speaking of things that maybe are adversarial, Evie didn't particularly like this vacuum. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 stop. Nope. Evie, come on, let's stop. It's okay. Vacuum cleaners are friends. It's okay. All right. After that little bit of negotiation, though, I, you know, her and the vacuum cleaner came to a ceasefire for, for now. So, so that was a good, happy, peaceful ending. And then all of her hair and everything else got put in the trash can as it should be. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it's been a really useful thing. Like I said, I've got the Got the STLs up on GitHub for both this and the mount for the camera. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe. And if you really like it, hit the notification button. Seems like YouTube pushes the longer videos. And you know, sometimes mine are longer, sometimes they're not. So if you want to see everything that I come out with, then I guess that's a way to do it. So if you like the video, uh, do give it a thumbs up too. And, or not, you know, what, whatever you want. Um, I just appreciate you watching. So thanks a lot. And this is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.